Today I am turning my daughter's little girl's room into a hip chic teenager room. So if you want some tween or teen bedroom inspo, you're gonna love today's video. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. My girls are growing up. It's so bittersweet. You might remember my middle daughter's bedroom makeover from five years ago. We did sort of a magical boho look to her room. She is wildly different now than when she was seven years old. So I wanted to completely make over her room to really reflect her personality and her style. So we're gonna turn a little girl's bedroom into a chic updated teenager bedroom with room for studying and drawing and doing all the things things one does in junior high. Let's get started. Here's how little A's bedroom looked before. We did a rich and magical boho themed bedroom makeover. She loved those deep magical colors like teal, raspberry red, and of course she loved unicorns and gold glitter. Now that she is 12 and going into junior high, she has a whole different list of likes and dislikes. So I really wanna honor that and work directly with her to create a bedroom of her dreams. So she loves neutral colors, cozy. She still loves a boho kind of Scandi cozy style. So we are going to work with that. To begin, we scrolled through Pinterest together and I asked her to find some pictures that she loved. I really wanna make sure that she absolutely loves this room. It doesn't really matter what I like and dislike. I really believe that a person should love their room no matter their age. She was really drawn to these dark and moody rooms with the deep gray walls, the twinkle lights, the rattan, and the cozy elements. So we're gonna design her room based on these things. I picked out three different paint colors for her based on the images she chose and we painted them on the wall. I had her paint the samples and see how they looked in her room. Her room is north facing so they all looked rather dark. So we picked the lightest warmest one which is called Barnwood Grey by Bear. Beautiful cozy dark grey with a bit of green in it. Then I went ahead and started demolishing her current room, which honestly was a little bit sad. I'm not going to lie. It is bittersweet that my girls are growing up and they're kind of growing out of this stage of magical room designs. I was really proud of this one, but I'm happy to be able to donate a lot of these elements to people that need them or give them to friends that have wanted them. Little A is getting involved in the room makeover by going through all of her things making sure that she only keeps things that she loves and donating things that she doesn't want. I'm removing all of the decals from the wall and all of the old screws and things and the shelves, sanding everything and filling all the holes with some spackle. Now that all the holes are filled and everything's ready to go, we moved all of the furniture to the center of the room and I'm painting the walls, all of them, in this barn wood gray. Since the room is a standard size, it's about 10 feet by 11 feet, it's, you know, a little bit smaller, so I was a little bit concerned about the room feeling too small. However, little A likes a cozy space, so she wasn't too worried, and I have some tricks up my sleeve to make sure that this dark color doesn't feel overwhelming in this space. I like to use a two and a half inch tapered angled brush to do all of my cutting in at the tops of the wall and near the baseboards and casing, and then use a nice roller to roll the rest of the color on. Prove me wrong, but I think wall paint is the number one thing that makes the biggest impact to a space on a budget. I purchased two gallons of this paint, so it was around $120 Canadian that did the whole room with some extra for touch-ups for later if needed, and oh boy, it makes such a huge difference in how this room feels. After the first coat, I did a second coat and it was perfect. I'm using the Bare Marquee product, which is definitely one of my favorites. It has excellent coverage. So usually you only have to do two coats, maybe a couple touch-ups after that. Mm -hmm. 
So the one splurge we did for this room was to purchase this loft bed from Ikea. I will link it in the description box below. My daughter has always wanted a loft bed because that was really the only way we could fit a desk space into this room. She wants a desk for homework for school, which I know she's gonna get a lot of in junior high. Plus she loves to draw and she loves to make clay creations. So I thought this was the ideal piece for her. It is a twin bed size, so it's not a huge piece and it has a quite large workspace underneath. So I was able to put all of this together myself. I just needed Sean to come in at the end and help me launch the bed over the wardrobe and shelving unit. We're gonna put this in the middle of the far wall and that leaves access to the closet on the right and then to the wardrobe on the left. I'm just putting a little A's mattress back up in here. I found these linen look curtains on Amazon. They are thick and beautiful. I will definitely leave these in a link in the description box below because I'm so happy with them. I bought four panels to make this really rich floor to ceiling look for the window wall. This is one of the ways that I'm hoping to make this room feel larger, even with the dark walls, to have the floor to ceiling vertical drapes. Now I'm finishing assembling the desk that goes underneath of this loft bed. I'm really happy with how big this workspace is and I did pick the option of this bed to have all of the drawers underneath. I feel like the more closed storage you can have in a teen's room, the better. And little A loves to collect all sorts of things, so all of the storage is gonna be really helpful in keeping her room, hopefully, mostly looking neat and tidy. The area rug I'm using here was actually one that I had on hand. I used it in my living room for a little bit and didn't like it there, but good thing I stored it because I love how it looks in here. Now that all the drawers are in place, Sean is swapping out the light fixture. This is another way to make this room look a little bit more mature for my daughter. We found this basket style one at Ikea as well, nice and affordable, and it really gives this room the boho, cozy, Scandinavian look that my daughter loves. I had this hardware on hand actually. I'd purchased it for a kitchen update and then decided I didn't like it. So I thought it would be the perfect color to use in this room. It's just nice and warm, gives off those nice warm cozy vibes that my daughter enjoys. And I'm installing them in the drawers on the desk and in the wardrobe. Installing LED twinkle lights is something that I would highly recommend for any teen's room. They love them. I'm just using command hooks to add them to the wall. I'm reusing these art shelves that little A had on the other wall. We're adding all four of them into the entry wall in her room, and then she can display her favorite graphic novels here. I'm also adding a hanging plant. I just made this one from dollar store finds and then the snake plant, which is really easy to maintain. Also a basket with some more cozy blankets inside. So as a reminder, here's how little A's room looked before when she was just a little girl. And here it is now ready for her teen years. I love how this room turned out. What I love most about it is that it just perfectly matches little A's personality. We have some things in here that she loves like her pet gecko. He has everything he needs here with some baskets and storage underneath. We were also able to keep the vintage vanity that my mom painted for little A. And then we have elements like the floor to ceiling drapes, the white trim, the white bed that keeps this room looking larger even though it has the dark gray walls. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this room makeover. Let me know what you think of it down in those comments below. If you like this room makeover, I'm gonna leave another video for you to watch right up here where you can see another room transformation.